And now we are going to do this adorable little seahorse keychain. This is one of my favorite molds. This is an unreleased mold. We will have a couple different varieties in the shop once everyone receives their boxes, but this is so cute and so easy to do with UV resin. I can't wait to show you what it looks like and how it turns out. So for this, we're using a couple different cups because I want to do a multicolored keychain. So we're going to use our resin and we are going to fill these cups up a little over halfway and then I'm going to use a couple different glitters on this project. The first glitter we're going to use is Push Up Sherbet. This is a great iridescent. It has tons of sparkle and it's very, very fluorescent. So it is nice and vibrant, perfect for a tropical fish. Then we're going to use our yellow submarine. This one is another one of my favorites. It is also an iridescent and very, very fluorescent and very vibrant. So once you add the colors of glitters of your choice, go ahead and stir those into your resin. We're going to stir a little bit slower. We are casting in a mold, so we wanna minimize the amount of bubbles that we are creating while we're doing this. Once you get both of your glitters mixed up the way that you want them, we are just going to get rid of any surface bubbles that we created by running a lighter over the top of the cup and popping those bubbles. This is the easiest way to do that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do kind of a dirty pour. We're going to do a little bit of each color all the way down the mold until we have it nice and filled in. Now remember, what shows on the front is whatever touches that mold. So just kind of lay it, think it, think it through and kind of lay it how you would want it to look when you demold it. But whatever you pour on top doesn't really matter because no one's going to see that. So just keep taking turns with each color going all the way down the mold. And then once you have the colors in where you want them, fill it in with the rest of the resin run a lighter over the top to get rid of any surface bubbles. And then we're going to move in with our Magic Cure lamp. We're going to cure this slower because the slower the cure, the better it's going to keep its shape. So start off at that six watts and every 10 seconds kind of bump it up a little bit. Once you get through 60 seconds, turn that mold over. We're gonna leave it on 24 watts and we're going to go ahead and cure it for another 60 seconds. And that will give us a full cure. All right, so let's go ahead and take our lamp off and take this little guy out of the mold and see how he turned out. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He is adorable. So let's go ahead and fill in the detail. So you can use white, you can use black, you can use any color of acrylic paint that you want to bring out the detail in this guy. I'm going to use white and you can just use any kind of acrylic paint. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit into this cup. And I'm using a little silicone squeegee brush. And all you're going to do is simply sweep that paint into your little seahorse. We're just gonna do this little sweeping motion, making sure we get it all the way to the edge because there is an outline all the way around. And this will just help, it's a quick and easy way to bring out the detail without having to do multiple pours, multiple layers, um, saves a ton of time and it still looks really, really nice. Here is an easy way to clean up the edges. I just use these little swabbing Q-tips. You can get them on Amazon in bulk and go all the way around it and just get rid of any extra paint that might be on there. I just use a little water. This is just water. Alcohol doesn't do well with UV resin once it's cured, so you want to try to stay away from alcohol if you can. And then we're just going to go in and shine him up. And I just apply very light pressure when I'm doing this because you don't want to take the paint out. You just want to clean up the paint that shouldn't be there. And 
and there's your seahorse. Now you can coat this with UV resin and you can seal it in, um, but it will actually last just fine without it. So if you want to leave it like this, which I think is super cute, um, you can do that as well. So now we're going to go ahead and add our hardware. So let's take our jump ring. We're going to thread it through the hole on the top of the keychain, And then I'm gonna put my charm that came in your little bonus pack on the top. That's where I like to have it because you can see it better. So we're gonna put on our charm toward the front there, add our keychain to the back, put those edges of the jump ring together. I give them a little squeeze there at the end. And then there is your seahorse keychain. He's super, super cute. You can do this in a variety of colors, all different ones, so beautiful.